for any Saints fans, we'll uh, recall your tireless running up and down, I guess, here um, at the stadium. But tell us what a little bit all this is in aid of today. Um, I'm going to be running between every Premier League football stadium in England, uh, starting at Newcastle and working my way down and around the country and finishing it here at St Mary's. Strangely enough, when we, we play Newcastle United on the 13th of September, I think it is. So um, it's, uh, it, it's going to be a huge physical challenge. Um, I'll be running close on a thousand miles. Uh, anything in between sort of 40 and 50 miles a day it'll be and raising money hopefully a huge figure of a million pound we've set a target at for Cancer Research UK so um, you know fantastic cause and um, hopefully it'll be backed by everybody to, to donate even a small or large sum to, uh, to, to back the challenge and, and raise the funds. And then, so a thousand miles that's, that's one hell of a route. Um, talk us through do you know, do you know what the route will form, where you will go from Newcastle. Talk yeah. us through where you go from there. Yeah, I'll be starting at Newcastle, as I say, and from there we're going to, it's a relatively short run, about 17 miles to, to Sunderland. From Sunderland we work our way down to Hull, back across to the Midlands, northwest, Liverpool, Manchester. Um, Swansea's a little bit out of the way. That's going to be a, a bit of a trek from, from West Brom, I think, is the last club in England. Then it'll be across to Swansea, back to London, and then down, down to Southampton. So looking at the map, I sort of thought in my head, maybe... It, Starting in Newcastle and working my way down is almost working downhill, but I'm sure it's not going to work like that. Well, Matt, fancy seeing you here. What do, what do we owe the pleasure? <laughs> oh, it's nice to be here. Uh, obviously, uh, Franny is, um, Mr. Benali has taken on a, an incredible challenge of running from uh, from Newcastle, starting in Newcastle's ground and running to every Premier League ground in the space of three weeks. I mean, it's just absolutely crackers. I uh, can't imagine what is going through his head to want to do that. Did you tell him there were easier ways of getting around the country? Yeah, absolutely. But he's had this challenge in his mind for uh, a few years now and he's finally got around to doing it. Obviously doing it for a, a fantastic cause as well in cancer research. Um, so uh, if he reaches his target uh, that he's looking for, I think he's, he's aiming to raise uh, something like a million pounds. So uh, it's, a, it's an incredible target and hopefully I'll do anything I can to, to help him achieve that. And how's the training going then? Can you tell us how far along? It's about a month to go. So. Yeah, not, not long now. It's um, I'm having to rack up the mileage at the moment and then there'll be a little bit of a taper off towards the, the start of the run. Um, but, you know, I ran 30 miles yesterday in a couple of runs and the legs were pretty sore and tired after that. But um, I've, I've, I've got to get used to running on tired and sore legs. So it's, uh, it's a bit more familiar. Have you, have you witnessed him in training? Can you sort of give us a report of where he is? Well, I ran the uh, Guernsey Half Marathon with him last, uh, last summer. Um, and he did very little training for that, whereas I did about six or seven months worth of training. Um, and it, uh, he still beat me by about seven minutes. So uh, I, I stayed with him for about, I think it was about the first five or six miles. And then he just went off into the distance and I was left trailing. We wish you well with the run. We'll talk a little bit about Saints as well, of course. The pre-season sort of well underway, the fixtures are out. Uh, you must be excited as the rest of us about the new season around the corner. Oh, I can't wait. There's always that optimism of a new season, isn't there? And it, it does seem to have come around even quicker this year because of, you know, having had the World Cup to, to fill the closed season this season. So, um, you know, that, that, that gets everyone's interest in the game still. And, and to know that the boys are back, you know, preparing for the coming season already is uh, is quite a shock in some ways, and and in others I don't mind it because I'm no longer doing that. But um, you know, I don't miss the pre seasons. I must admit, but they're, they're working extremely hard, I'm sure. And you know, I, I bet they'll be ready come first game of the season to uh, to sort of have a great campaign. You talk us a little bit about uh, Ronald Koeman and what you make of the appointment. I guess a similar generation to yourself, so you probably followed his career quite closely. Yeah, he was an amazing player, wasn't he? Um, you know, he's 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 a, a huge name to to attract to to Southampton. Um, I'm obviously sort of hopeful and excited, like everybody else is associated with Saints, that it'll be a successful season for for him and the club. Um, and I, I think with his experience and his his knowledge and his his background, he'll 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 be a massive asset and and, and bring success to the club. And how do you think it will fare this season, or is it too early to tell? It's going to be difficult. You know, every season is. There's there's, there's no easy games and no easy seasons. Um, but you know, all the guys here at the club, everybody knows that. Um, it's, it's a good start would be good. You know, naturally getting out of the blocks and getting some points on the board early would be would be a good thing. Um, because you always have the, a little blip from time to time, maybe in form with injuries or suspensions through the season. But um, I think now the the, the the stature of the club and the size of the club that it is nowadays, you know, we, we've we've got a squad and a setup that that can handle to compete at the top end of the table without question. So. Um, you know, I'm, like I say, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a good campaign and I'm thoroughly looking forward to coming down and watching a lot of games. The new season is just around the corner, so yep. an exciting time. Absolutely. Uh, looking forward to it? 
Of course, yeah, the new season coming around is always an exciting time. I mean, I, I never used to look too forward too much to coming back to pre-season training, but once that first three or four weeks were over uh, and, you, uh, and you knew you were building up to the first game of the season, it was, uh, it was a pretty exciting time and um, that was you know, kind of one of your favourite moments as a player was stepping out on the first day of the season um, and, and knowing that you know, if, you, if you win that game, you could be top of the league at the end of that day. <laughs> it didn't happen very often. <laughs> Let's talk about that first game. Liverpool is a very interesting matchup, and, and again, Sky have got it. So um, you'll, you'll be uh, watching that one, I'm sure. I certainly will. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't surprise me that uh, it was uh, made for live television. That one, obviously, with uh, with Adam and Ricky going there, it's going to be uh, makes it a little bit more spicy. Uh, and the fact that I think we were one of only two teams that uh, went there and won last season, so uh, um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be good fun. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what the season brings. That'll be a, a kind of a nice pointer for us. Yeah, it's certainly one of the games that people look forward to in the season. Are there any others that you sort of got your eye on at the moment? I think, um, I think uh, you, you, you kind of look at t- uh, the big boys. Uh, so when they, I know the Man City game here is uh, has been chosen for live coverage, so um, that'll be nice. I'll be able to get down to that one. Uh, the more live games that, that we get, the, the more I'll be able to come to. So uh, I, I don't like the Saturday three o'clock kickoffs because <laughs> I've got to sit in the studio and wait for the goal reports to come in. But uh, now it'll be uh, it'll be great fun when the season kicks off. Yeah, what do you make of the uh, the appointment of Ronald Koeman and the and the whole sort of feel good factor around that at the moment? Oh, I think it's a, a cracking appointment. You know, obviously um, a big blow for the club. We lose a manager and, and three players, uh, and everybody uh, kind of starts to panic. But um, a couple of those players have uh, uh, have had players that have been replacements for them. Uh, hopefully they'll start well and and try and fill the big boots that uh, that Adam and Ricky left. Um, and obviously Ronald coming in, um, fantastic name in world football and should be able to attract good players to this football club and and that's probably one of the most important factors.